first tonight, a rise in Valley Metro bus riders prompting the city of Harlingen to consider building a new transit station to accommodate them. CBS 4's Nora Salinas has the details about this new project. It's a form of transportation hundreds of Valley residents rely on every day. It kind of benefits me to the point where I have a pretty much of a, a pretty stable ride. The Valley Metro is continuing to rise in popularity with a 24% boost in users during the past year. I think there is a great need um, for public transportation. We're transitioning into the, the bigger, nicer buses. Joel Garza, director for the Harlingen San Benito MPO, says more college students are beginning to use the metro as a way to get from place to place. It gets me where I need to be and it saves money in the long run for me. Since for student, for students, for UTRGV, TSC, and TSC, and they ride for free. Currently, the city of Harlingen has one transit station, but the Harlingen San Benito Metropolitan Planning Organization is looking to create a new and larger facility similar to Brownsville's that would accommodate more riders. A multimodal facility for this area that will essentially house um, public and private uh, metro buses. We do like Brownsville's example because it has the retail in front for food vendors and all that, and it does have a parking uh, garage. Plans for the facility are in its preliminary stages, but it's estimated to cost $3 million. In Harlingen, Nora Salinas, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. There are currently plans also to build a new metro transit facility in the city of Edinburgh.